Hello there, it's me, your Star Wars dad, and we're here with LEGO Star Wars Battles today talking about how to Rey. Now, there's been a lot of speculation, and we look at Rey, we don't really see her as a, a viable option in ladder right now. Nobody's going to be getting her cards, or everybody's getting Yoda because he's so dominant. Uh, but where can you use her? Can you use her in events? Are there ways you can use her early on? What can we do with Rey to make her useful and viable? And by the way, you're going to want to stay on until the very end because the last battle on here with Ray is uh, super primo gaming action, so let's play some Star Wars. Okay, everybody, we got Ray here. Here she is in all her splendor. The name Skywalker, Ray Skywalker. That's all. That's their entire quote for Ray. That kind of tells you kind of disappointing what they did with Ray in the sequels. Like that's the entire quote. The name Skywalker. Ray Skywalker. I mean, there's. I feel like there's more. Is there more? She should have. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So we all know that she's a big tanky champion. She has a lightsaber, so she does, you know, uh, base damage. Let's look at her health. Her health is 1410 at level 9. What is Princess Leia's health at level, level 9? Let's take a look. Um, 1280, so she's tankier, and this is with the recent recent buffs they had for her, so she's tankier than Princess Leia, and that's a good thing because she needs to be. Um, but what's her special? So her special is Mystical Mending. Recovers the health of any allies within range. 352 healing ability, ability charge time 10 seconds, ability duration. I want to compare her ability charge time to Yoda. His ability charge time is, oh, I just gotta go here, uh... 12 seconds. So her ability charges a little bit faster than Yoda's. I actually think if, if they want her to be really useful, she needs to charge even faster than that. Like 10 seconds is good. She probably needs to charge it at 9 seconds. Um, just to, it needs to be around more often to, to, uh, to work on the game. So anyway, let's get into some gameplay. Basically what she's going to do is she's going to heal all the units and towers around her for that, uh, for that 2.3 second ability duration and heal them to 352. But very first gameplay I'm going to hear, I'm just going to pull it in straight from my live stream because I feel like the, 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 uh, the gameplay and me talking about it live speaks for itself. So as soon as that's over, I'm going to come in. We're going to analyze a couple of different battles. You're going to want to hang around because I'm telling you the last one is really, is really just, just, just completely flipping awesome. So let's check in on what I did then on live stream. It's the monster love mash. It was a real big love smash. The monster love mash. They did the monster love mash. It was a great mix. I'm gonna spend it. Now we're going. Shield generator. Ooh, wow, what an investment. He invested so much to save his, wow. Here we go. Let them all engage, and then kill them. This is the new rule. This is how we do shield generator. You let them engage the unit. Let's see if my, uh, the port is going the wrong direction. But look, now his middle tower is dead. That's what you do. Let him engage. Let him engage. And then we're going to do this. I didn't do it right. I didn't let him engage. Although, a battalion of battle drones. Oh, this is bad. I'm going to have to let them all die. I'm gonna come and come with Ray. Here we go. Look at that stormtrooper getting stuck behind the destroyer right there. Oh, he's going for it. I don't think that's a good move. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm getting away from the shield generator here. Okay, hang on. He just spent on that. He probably should have waited a minute to do that, but that's all right. Oops. <laughs> Ill, a poorly timed B, uh, BB-8 there. Well-timed uh, three ports with Ewoks. I don't want to let him get any more damage on my tower. All right, sneaky, sneaky. Let me get my tower up. Now let's play. Now we're playing. Now we're playing. We're playing for pink slips, baby. Uh, uh, Ray. 
Okay, I'm gonna, I wish I could have just... No, no, no. Okay, do it! Come on! Look at the lag on those boomers! Look at the lag on those boomers! That is making me angry! The lag on those boomers is making me angry! Gosh darn it, you guys! I put those... Bo that was like a four-second lag on the boomers! Get in there. Get in there. Get in there! Now heal everybody. Heal some stuff. Heal some stuff. Look at Ray! Look at Ray! She's a champion! <laughs> Alrighty, now that you saw on the live stream, let's go ahead and jump into the, the uh, gameplay here for these other two battles that I recorded. Um, this is this is really good stuff, guys. I mean, so here we are uh, playing Matty Matt, it looks like. And um, so, yeah, so the thing with Ray is... Initially what I was doing with her was I'd put her out front and put units behind her and then that doesn't work that way She actually needs to try to either Counter at the beginning so she takes as little damage as possible Then you can drop some units around her or you need to drop her behind units So she comes in from behind them and heals them up So if if your units are already on the field she comes in by now there, Here's a total misuse here. I had I was thinking I'd drop her on the field drop the tauntaun heal him up as he got to the tower and instead there's but tiny battle droids and they just, they just completely smoke her. So that's a complete misuse of Ray right there. In this battle, you can see that she, just ideally, I really think that, that she's going to, those two things. You want to counter with her at your tower where she's not taking a lot of damage and then drop some units down as your, her special gets loaded so she, you can heal them as they do more countering or they attack a middle tower. Or you want to have units already advancing down the field and drop her in behind them so she hits them right as they're attacking and right as uh, right as they're losing their lose. So, so she hits them with her special at the moment they're attacking. So let's see if I can pull off a little better usage here. Uh, looks like we're going out to the middle tower with Ewoks. Is that tower dead? It looks like it's dead. That tower's dead. And got a Gwathian on the particle beam over there. And that particle beam is within bomber range, so that's not a great result at the moment. What are we doing? What are we doing? Load Ray. He's got Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Uh, Boba Fett. Where? So he's got Boba Fett. So I boo ball him and let the particle beam and the porgs finish him off. There we go. Get him before he... Okay, so this is right. I drop Ray in with the advancing. So she... I countered with her and dropped the porgs. And now he brings in the seismic charge. Now she's going to be able to heal. Yeah, so she's going to attack. Oh, see that? Now this is kind of a limitation here. She's healing the Tauntaun. But she can't hit the BB-8 at the same time, so it's it's going okay here. But that's it. Just wasn't super clean either. You know, it's like she was healing the Tauntaun's damage, but he wasn't taking all that much damage from a BB unit, right? He was he was taking limited amounts of damage from a BB unit. You know, it's you just have to use her right. You have to get her in the right situation. You know, somebody like Yoda. If he's in the right situation, it's completely dominant and everything's over with. If he's in the wrong situation, you can use a recover. Okay, here we go. She's coming in from deep in behind the Ewoks, and she's coming in as, like, support and counter. So now we're walking forward. The Tauntaun is moving in on the tower. We heal the uh, commandos and everybody back there. We're still moving forward. The commandos are nice because they survive seismic charges. Now look. She's going to survive against this Guavian, and now I've got Porgs and commandos. He bombers out... A bunch of it now it's just oh no she's dead <laughs> I thought we were gonna get there that time we didn't get there she go well I mean I think we can see that this battle was one I think I would if for this battle I would call Ray more of a contributor or more of a maybe a possibly a distraction let's say I put her in here again do I do I get to more Ray? no no the Tauntaun finishes the battle so, um, yeah, the, and by the way, guys, I think she's only usable in events. I really do. I don't think you can use her in, in ladder play right now. It's She's just got too many question marks and, and too much she needs, and nobody's got her leveled up to, you know, level 10, 11. You might be able to use her at lower levels of the game, at level at level 8 and 9, but the thing is that once you get Ray, you're on Exegol, so you're probably already around 4,000 trophies, and she's not going to be useful until useful she's at least level 10. And then when you get to like five, six thousand trophies, you gotta have her at level eleven, or it's not even not even a thought. So, all right. So what I did here, this was this, this is fun stuff, guys. So we go with the uh, the shield generator. I've been trying out shield generators a lot in events lately, a lot, just to see how they work. 
And so I got commandos, and we bring in the Minox. They're going to take that tower. That tower's dead unless he drops a seismic charge on it. Now I got Vader on my tower, so that's a concern. Look, now look at that. I boo balled him right as he did his special. If you can pull that off, you know, wait him out. I got lucky there. It was kind of a simultaneous thing, but if you can... Horrible, horrible seismic charge there. Oh, no, I guess he had to use it on those Minox. Okay, so, and what you also want to do, and I'm making a mistake here, with the shield generator, when he's got a single unit like that coming down, let it engage the shield generator. Let it engage. I still have both commandos alive. Now there's two shield generators. Two shield generators. Now what are we going to do? So here comes the Guavian and... And... The Stormtrooper. Here comes Ray. Okay, now this Ray said use her as a counter. So she's a counter for the shield generator. Now she's got her special loaded up. Now I can put some units out. What I'm what I'm thinking here. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you guys exactly what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Ray and Minox. And here we go. Pay attention, everybody. Ray with Minox. She heals them up as so they kill the middle tower. The boom balls come in. She's going in with the Minox on the second tower. And she's going to uh, load up her special so he drops a seismic. It doesn't kill anybody. They're all still alive, but his tower's dead. Now Ray comes in and heals up the Minox again. Look, there's now there's three Minox still going on this guy's main tower. And I tell you, Ray with Minox, right? Ray, Minox, and Boomer Balls. That's all it really was in a bomber. Um, killed three towers here. It killed the middle tower. It killed a rear. Why did he build that middle tower at the end, by the way? Killed a middle tower. Killed the rear tower. Killed the, the TIE Fighter. And, uh, you know, that was just a, a super, super successful. I love that Ray run. Guys, I, I really do. I think you can use her in events. I don't think she's ready for gameplay right now. You'd have to get her to level 10 or 11. And I think there's, I really think Yoda is so dominant right now that he's the guy you got to pump all your resources into. I think Yoda would have done the same thing with that team. Now, there is a there is a, a trade-off there because Ray's actually healing them back up. Yoda's, they're staying at the same level, but he probably could have shielded them at least a couple times as well. You know, she healed a couple times. He could have shielded a couple times. So, would have been any different with Yoda? It might have even been a little bit better. I, you know, I'm not really sure, but it just, it just seems like Yoda's a better option at this point. Well, we know it might be a while. I don't see a lot of people leveling up Ray out there and using her. So, there you go, everybody. Uh... Thanks for, for joining in. This is she, she is fun to use when it goes well. You just got to find the right situation. And I only think you can use her in events right now. And I only think that you should always remember Nooch Too Good.